Southeast Whitfield elected not to play in a region last fall. They'll do the same again this season as the Raiders search to be more competitive. Southeast gets the 30 and 30 preview. Even though Southeast Whitfield snapped a 17 game losing streak last year, they still only won one game. We're motivated to win more, not just one game. We feel like we're, we're good enough to win a couple. What makes this team good enough to win a couple? We're getting a lot more people coming to workouts than usual and everybody wants to win. That's the plan, just keep improving every day and the wins will come as we improve. I feel like this season we're going to we're in progress, we're in show teams that, I mean we showed them out here in the camp that we're, we improved way, way more from last year and they saw that and they're going to see it in the regular season. The Raiders will also see a new defensive look. We went to a three-man front and it's, I mean, it's a lot easier. You don't have to read as much, so we're flying around just trying to get to the ball. If you're flying around, you got to have wings. The Raiders will keep running the wing tee on offense. How do you think the wing tee is going to help you guys be successful this year? I think we're pretty big on the line, so uh, just being uh, a run-heavy offense, I think it should work pretty well. Maybe the Raiders can draw inspiration from their school's soccer team, which won a state title last spring. It motivates us because just seeing them win and how happy they are and how the school rallied behind them. Yeah, it motivates us to work hard and also be talked around school. Watch 30 Schools in 30 Days at 11 on News 12 Now. Brought to you by Food City.